Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Bitcoin, and we're gonna be looking at the doubling bands, uh, the bands basically to, to see a certain ROI on your, your Bitcoin investment. So if you guys like the content, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel, I'm trying to get it to 40,000 subscribers, give the video a thumbs up. Also, do check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below, as well as check out the premium list into the cryptoverse.com. So let's go ahead and jump in. So you know, one of the things we've talked about, right, with Bitcoin is the amount of time it takes to double your investment historically, right? We showed these charts several months ago. Uh, actually, I think the last time I showed these charts was probably when my, um, my channel wasn't nearly as popular. Uh, but if you, if you haven't seen them, this is what they look like. So the idea, right, is to, is to plot on here the ROI time in days on the secondary y-axis, okay? So let me walk you through it. So on the primary y-axis, we have the price of Bitcoin on a logarithmic scale. On the secondary axis, the secondary y-axis, we have the return on investment time in days on a logarithmic scale, and then all that, you know, versus time. So the white line, right, is just the price of Bitcoin. This is just the price of Bitcoin. You guys have seen this chart a thousand times. The yellow lines, show you the amount of time it takes or it took to see a 2x on your investment had you bought that day. Uh, so each yellow dot corresponds to whatever you know the price point was below it. So let's take a few examples here. So if we were to come up here at the peak in 2013 and then we come all the way up to the yellow band and then go sideways, we can see that it took over a thousand days. So had you bought Bitcoin, at the peak of 2013, it would have taken you over a thousand days to see a 2x on your investment. Why is that? Well, if you had bought it around a thousand bucks, you can see that we didn't get to two thousand dollars until way over here. So naturally, you were waiting throughout this entire time period over here, and then once we got to this point, you were back at break even, and then you saw a 2x shortly thereafter. Which is why with crypto, we say, yeah, time in the market's important, but timing the market is, is really important too. And, and FOMOing in, you know, at these speculative bubble peaks is, is generally not a good idea, right? We've, we've talked about this a lot. So, you know, the idea here is, right, we, we see these bands that form. So each cycle, we see bands that form that represent all the different pumps, uh, the short-term bubbles during the cycles, those moves. Uh, and we can we can visualize them, right? I mean, we can see that this was the first cycle. We see a lot of different bands that form. The reason, you know, the reason why the bands kind of go down like this is because they go down to the point, right, where if you had bought right here, it would have taken you less than 10 days, right, to see a 2x on your investment because you're buying right before it goes parabolic. So, you know, the bands start up, you know, they start off high, right, because it's gonna take a long time to 2x your investment from this peak here. Uh, but if you're buying it all the way, you know, say, say, you know, at some of these regions right before it pumps, it doesn't take nearly as long. And again, we see that at one point it took, at the, at the you know, the most parabolic point of the cycle, we saw a, a 2x in, in just over 10 days. So first cycle, we saw a 2x, right, in just a few days. The second cycle, we, we saw it 10x in about, or 2x, we saw it go up 2x at the peak of, you know, of this point, of this, of this parabolic move, and then the second one as well, in about 10 days. This cycle, or the last cycle, we saw the, the, the most parabolic move allowed for the price of Bitcoin to 2x in a little over 10 days. I mean, if we, got, if we, if we continue this pattern, right, I mean, we, we might see a 2x from Bitcoin uh, later on during this cycle, but it might take, you know, 20 or 30 days to, to see that final 2x right before the bubble's about to pop. So this this is yet another tool that we can put in our toolkit, right, in terms of helping us to identify a, a, a bubble, right, a, a, a top. Um, and, and the reason we're making this video too, right, is, is we can see that, you know, we're, we're, we're you know, forming a new band as, as we speak, right? If the prices continue to go up, then this band is forming right from from the people that were buying in this in this region over here, um, and so and so this is why I wanted to, to do a video update right. If you if you were buying Bitcoin at five thousand um, dollars, you know at fifty five hundred dollars or so, I mean, up to six thousand right back a, a few a few months ago, you're already seeing a two x ROI uh, in just a few months. Okay, 
So if we visualize the second one, you, you know, you can see it's, it looks something like that. I mean, I, I just randomly, I, I drew the circles right to, to generally show you up to the peak. Um, but this, you know, this is the, this is the second one. Here's the third one, right? And then um, here's you know, more or less where the fourth one is, is going to be. And yes, I, I could have drawn these. Like I could have compressed it down into this region. And maybe I should have. Uh, but I just wanted to, to generally outline the overall you know, structure that what you're seeing, right, is as we go forward in time, for those astute observers, these are the slopes are becoming less steep, right? Well, what does that mean? Well, in the first cycle, the reason why they're so steep is because it basically just went straight up. <laughs> I mean, and so the amount of time it took to, to double uh, was just very short for many of these price points that you could have bought. So it was basically just going, uh, this, these, this metric is just going down because you're able to two exit in a very short period of time. Here, because it, the volatility is lower, uh, the, the bands are, they're not going down quite as steeply, right? Because it's taking longer and longer for the price in the future from these reference points to move up. Therefore, it's, you know, it's not going to be quite as steep. You see the same trend for the third cycle. And then I would anticipate something similar for the fourth cycle, right? Where the, the bands that, that we form to see these 2x ROIs, they're not going to be as steep. We're going to continue to see it spread out and take longer. You can see that the first bands are, are pretty clustered together in this region. The second cycle, they're a little bit more spread out. Right, the third cycle, there, there's you know, there's more of them. It was a longer cycle. We expect this one to be even a longer style, uh, a longer cycle, completely in line, right, with with lengthening cycle theory. Now, if if we take a look at people who bought at 20k, if you if you just do the math and you say, okay, well, it's already been about a thousand days uh, since that point, so you're already looking at the next band being at this point at least, and. We and and the reason why you know you can see that in, during the last cycle we already saw uh, saw it peak at over a thousand days, which was you can see the peaks going up from from the time to um, double from the peaks. So I would expect the next one to be even longer because we can see that this other one was over a thousand days already, right? I mean this is a logarithmic scale, so the next tick mark is up is is at two thousand. The grid lines, by the way, correspond to the primary y-axis. If some of you guys are confused. Um, not the secondary, but you know, if you just look and you kind of draw a line over, you can see it basically corresponds to this grid line. Uh, you know, so it's it's somewhere between 1,000 and 2,000 days. I mean, I because I don't think that Bitcoin's going to get to 20k until you know another 16 months or so, basically the end of 2021, early 2022. Uh, you know, we're we're looking to see the next band, maybe looking something like this, right, where the peak in terms of the number of days it took to two extra investment from this peak to whenever we get to 40k. Uh, is going to be somewhere probably between you know uh, 1,300 days to you know 1,500 days or, or something like that. Um, so just I, I this this band does not exist yet. I'm just showing you what it would theoretically look like once it does form, uh, and it wouldn't actually come out all the way over here because then it's uh, we're we're getting into the points where you would have already seen a 2x from from buying here to then selling it at for a theoretical 14k back in 2019. Uh, so some of you guys, of course, are more interested in, in, in higher ROIs. So this is the 4X. You can see the 4X bands. Um, you, you can see that currently, you know, if you had bought, if you had bought in uh, December of 2018, you would have actually been able to experience a 4X ROI, right? Because if you had bought at $3,100, you would have had the opportunity to sell at 4X that in, in the summer of 2019. But we don't have any of those yet in, in our current, uh, where we currently are. Um, here's 6x. I'll just go through these some. Here's 8x. Uh, here's 10x, right? So we haven't seen any 10x's yet this cycle for Bitcoin. In order to see a 10x, we need to see Bitcoin go to about 32k because in the daily time frame, the lowest price the Bitcoin got to was around 3200. I recognize the wick was down to 31, but on a daily time frame, I believe it was 3200, 3225, something like that. Um, so to get to a 10x from from that low, and to see a band start to form here for a 10x, we need to see Bitcoin get to 32K. Here's the 20X, so they're, they're becoming you know, less and less uh, frequent. Here's a 50X, right? So you know, purchasing Bitcoin at, at a couple hundred bucks, even, even, um, you know, even some of these higher points, you would have been able to see a 50X even if you were buying at the peak, right? Because of, of the next cycle. And then finally, here's a 100X. So it's, it's very few and far between. Um, for those who bought Bitcoin, you know, at this peak, right, at a thousand bucks, 
they still haven't experienced a um, still have not experienced a a 100x of course. Um, however, uh, if you look closely, you know you can see there's a point there. There were people that experienced approximately a 100x, right? If they bought it at around 200 bucks and then sold it at around 20,000, right? It, it dipped down below, I think, to like 176. So you would have had the opportunity to sell it at 100x um, during this cycle. So it is about timing the market. Crypto is definitely about timing the market. So I just want people to consider that. And that's why we talk about, you know, dynamically moving in and dynamically moving out of the market when it makes sense to move in and when it makes sense to move out, right? Don't let the emotions rule you. Just stick to the math, you know, look at where we are in the cycle and, and just continue, continue with your plan. If we remove some of the lines just so it becomes easier for you guys to read, now we're just showing the 2x, 10x, 50x, and 100x, right? So you can you can see these these bands a little bit clearer. Of course, you know, the bands aren't quite as extensive for, you know, seeing a 10x, right? Just because, um, it, you know, it's a lot harder to see a 10x, right, from from uh, some of these values, right? And I mean, if you if you bought if you bought Bitcoin, you know, up this curve right here, you know, at three thousand, four thousand, five thousand dollars, you certainly have not experienced a ten x yet. So whenever we do print the next ten x band, you can see the first one's pretty steep. It becomes less steep here. This one's even, you know, not. It continues to be less steep. Uh, the next one, right, will will follow the same pattern. I think like it'll whenever it does start forming means. You know, whenever whenever we get to, to this point, right, and, and we start seeing a thirty thousand dollar Bitcoin, a forty thousand dollar Bitcoin, then we'll start to see another band form, right? Somewhere probably around, you know, a couple thousand days or so, and it'll likely extend like this all the way out and, and then over, right? Because it's gonna take longer for Bitcoin to build up to a hundred K um because we know there's you know decreased volatility in, in this market cycle. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, we do have, I, I would appreciate it if you guys like the content, the custom content, right? Not just pulling up TradingView and, and uh, showing those charts all the time, but actually looking at custom charts. Uh, please subscribe to the channel, trying to grow the channel. I really appreciate it if you can give the video a thumbs up, if you enjoy, enjoy the content, of course. Um, we do have the Telegram channel, which you can check out if you're looking for a community to talk about crypto with. And then finally, we do have the premium list at into the cryptoverse.com. Make sure you check it out. Uh, a lot of perks there. We've been over a lot of them in prior videos. So, so go check it out into the cryptoverse.com. Prices are going to be going up uh, September 28th. So if you want to get grandfathered in at the lower prices, make sure you sign up before then. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys think about the, the video in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.